Hi everyone, this is Syed. Welcome back to another brand new video. Guys, today I'm going to show you how you can make a lamb chabuna, a traditional style. Let's start guys, I've got an aluminium pot here. So first I'm going to add one cup of cooking oil. And I'm going to add some mixed green masala bay leaf and other spices. I will write it down in the video. Okay. Some stone seeds, cinnamon stick and clove and also some green cardamom and black cardamom base. So I will add two teaspoons of cumin seeds. Also I will add some methi, dried metal lips. And also some mixed herbs. Now I'm going to add garlic ginger paste. As I got video recipe roll on my channel. One and two tablespoons of garlic ginger paste. Once the garlic in the base is a bit brown, I'm going to add the onion. I go here about uh, 350 gram onion, chopped onion guys. And lamb chop, I go here 1.2 kg. Good family pot for you guys, uh, about 5 Five, six people can easily have it. Now I'm going to add the onion. I'm going to put the heat on high and cook the onion. Also, I'm going to add the salt. Uh, salt, I'm going to add salt to taste guys. So, we'll add about two, two and a half. Now I'm going to close the lid and let it cook uh, the onion. But make sure, guys, you to stir it optionally, otherwise, you might burn. Let's check this. Once the onion is a uh, bit brown, then we can add the meat. The onion doesn't need to be softened. If it is brown, then we can add the meat. Right, guys, now I can add the meat. I'm gonna add the lamb chops. Now fry the lamb chops, the onions in the pot for three seconds. Now let's check. Before we add the water, let it fry for a few minutes. Uh, then we can add the water. I'm frying on the high heat, but here. Uh, if it's too dry, just put it on a medium heat or a heat. But 
then you can add the water after two minutes. I'm still frying it. I will add the water in a bit. When the meat will be brown like this, you can add the water. Yes. And also, as you can see, this uh, the meat's releasing water as well. So you're not gonna add too much water. Just and tenderize the meat. We're gonna add about two cup probably. And let's see how much water we we'll need. As you can see, the water releasing the, in the meat. So then we're gonna add the water now. More. Tenderize the meat. I've got here some garlic ginger paste. Uh, I made garlic ginger paste, so I added some water into the, into the pot jug. So I'm gonna add this water. Let's see if I need any more water. Already added about two cup water, so but. Half, two and a half cup should be fine. Just submerge the meat with the water, just fine. Now I'm gonna cook it on the high heat and tenderize the meat, the chop. Then we can add the spice. Right, guys. After after 30 minutes, I'm gonna check my lamp up. Let's see what's happening with it. Right. The water's dried out. Now I can add the spice. The spice, uh, I'm gonna add. The spice, uh, you can add tomato puree, uh, about two teaspoons. And also, I will mix curry powder. I got video recipe as well. Uh, that includes turmeric, cumin seed, sorry, cumin powder, coriander powder, and a little bit of garam masala and chi uh, chili powder. But today I'm going to add individual spices. And also, I'm not going to add um, tomato puree today. But if you want, you can add tomato puree. It's probably up to you. So, spice first, I'm going to add cumin powder. Cumin powder, I will add two teaspoon, and coriander powder, I'm going to add one and um, sorry, two teaspoon as well. And then turmeric powder, I'm going to I'm going to add turmeric powder, two teaspoon. A lot of people that don't have mixed curry powder at home, so. They can easily make as well without the mixed curry powder. You have this individual spices. The chili powder, guys. I'm using uh, extra hot chili powder. But this is totally up to you how much uh, spice you want. But um, I'm going to add today three teaspoon. Mix it. And also garam masala, guys. Never, don't forget the garam masala. I'm, I'm going to add garam masala as well. Guys, I'm adding ground garam masala. I don't have much guys, but I do have one teaspoon of that already. And also some kasuri methi. One handful of kasuri methi. Kasuri methi guys, I'm obsessed with the kasuri methi. This is a beautiful thing. Now I'm gonna let it fry the spice for a few seconds. After about two, two, after about one, two minutes, find the spice. I'm gonna add the, uh, some yogurt, natural yogurt. This uh, you can add 
can if you don't like it you can skip it but you yeah, just water for the baby but I'll add three four tablespoons of yogurt I'm going to add some tomato. You can add a lot of tomato, guys, two, three, it's up to you. I only have one today, so I'm going to add, I, added, I just added one. Some spring onion. Some green chili. Also some fresh naga. That's optional, guys, you don't have to add it. If you like spicy then you can add it. Now for the final touch guys for the gravy the meat is already softened. Now for the gravy I'm gonna add one cup of hot water. Let's see how much we need. If you like dry I would say add just one cup and put it on the high heat. Like Buna style, uh, if you like it. And what you can do basically, you can just add one cup of water. Uh, if your meat is softened already, then just add one cup of water. I'll actually add here yeah, one and a half cup. Because I cooked on the low medium heat for longer before to soften the meat. Then now I just added one and a half cup with the spice the spice and everything so should be fine guys but if you like curry style uh, thin braised gravy you can add two and a half cup or three cup of water guys still left to you mine is supposed to be fine but we'll see um, after five ten minutes Right guys, now the curry is ready. You can see it's a beautiful lamb chop. Look at the gravy. It's beautiful. This is just beautiful guys. I'm going to add some coriander. Now with this uh, turkey dal guys, it's amazing combination. As you can see my turkey dal is getting ready. It's gonna be a beautiful, uh, beautiful lunch guys. That's it, I'm gonna transfer it to my serving dish. All right guys, my lamb chop buna is done. Traditional lamb chop uh, buna. I'm gonna do the tasters now. Let's see how the taste. Also, I got a turkey dal here. I got the video recipe already in my channel for turkey dal. You can have a look. I'll put the link on the description. I got some boiled rice here. So let's see the taste, guys. The gravy is so smooth. Because I added uh, yogurt, the yogurt gave the gravy a nice smooth texture. The meat is really soft. The salt is perfect. The 
this trial with the Turkadol. Any meat curry guys, um, Turkadol goes hot with the uh, meat curry. Pay for meat to your lamb, to not do anything. It's a part of side dish. Mm. That's beautiful guys. Check it out, it's absolutely beautiful. So that's it for today guys. I hope to see you soon very soon with a very new recipe. Bye bye guys.